My small kid. This one is my daughter. She's my wife. And small. <laughs> we are big family. <laughs> Romo Nouri worked for the United States military for almost a decade. Now, as the U.S. officially wraps up its military mission in Afghanistan, it's time to end America's longest war. Tens of thousands of Afghan interpreters and contractors, like Romo, fear they will be targeted by the Taliban. Last night, too much attacks on my base. The kids, they cried. I told them there is no Taliban, nothing is going to happen to us. Don't worry. We spoke to Romo over the course of a month, as the U.S. military completes its final drawdown. We offered to protect his identity, but he chose to go on camera to draw attention to his case. Hello. Hello. Hi. How are you? Hey, Rick. My family is a child of a child. It's been a long time for me to live in my family. This is my brother. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. The bazaar, the town is open, but there is no customers. Before, people were happy selling, buying, you know. Now it's way different. Emboldened by the withdrawal of the U.S. troops, the Taliban has taken over large swaths of the country in the past few months. The impact has reached Bagra, home to the largest American military base in Afghanistan. We are unhappy that the U.S. troops are going to leave Afghanistan because 20,000 people, they, they were working day shift, night shift in the base. The security was so good. People are now they're trying to leave here, you know? The Taliban is now in like 75 kilometers far from here. They are too close. For most of Romo's life, American troops have been nearby. He started working for the military when he was a teenager. In the last few years, several hundred translators and their families have been killed, according to an advocacy group for Afghan allies called No One Left Behind. To acknowledge these risks, Congress created a program called the Special Immigrant Visa, or SIV. Romo is one of more than 20,000 Afghans who have applied. But time is running out. The situation is getting bad. <laughs> Trying to go home, but we heard one shot just now. <laughs> Villagers, men and women, they all are carrying weapons now. You see, look, 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 people carrying weapons. If I had money, I won't stay one minute here, you know? Find safe place, you know, to live. The SAV program is in no way going to be um, a fast enough program to get Afghans to safety. Jennifer Patoda works with applicants like Romo at the International Refugee Assistance Project. She says that the SIV program is plagued by a severe backlog, arbitrary denials, and stringent requirements that are difficult to meet. The most difficult step of the SAV application process is the first step, which is the chief of mission approval process, also known as COM approval. To get past this first stage, SIV applicants are entirely dependent on American supervisors and companies for proof of their work. It's very possible that people spend years trying to locate their employers that have um, gone out of business or locate their U.S. citizen supervisors. Matasafona. ما داکومنت ها را در اون دوران نداشتیم چون تکنولوژی و انترنت نداشتیم که از ایسای خود، از امو رفیقای و امریکای خود امو ایمیلشان، فیسبوکشان یا شماره تماسشان It took Romo several years to get the documents ready and that means he's just at the beginning of a 14-step process 
The American Legion demands that the United States government act now. For several months, veteran groups, lawmakers, and advocates have been asking the White House for an emergency evacuation to get SIV applicants to safety. Waiting for Biden announcement. This is very, very big help that President Biden announced for evacuation. Like they cannot imagine how they get happy. So our our life gonna be changed, you know. On July 21st, the State Department announced the details of an evacuation plan called Operation Allies Refuge. The United States will temporarily relocate these individuals and their families who feel threatened in Afghanistan so they can complete their special immigrant visa processing outside of Afghanistan. Currently, only those who have received calm approval will be relocated. We spoke to Romo after the news came out. You haven't received calm yet, so... Maybe that takes too much time. Maybe one more year, I don't know, to get the calm. For now, the vast majority of SIV applicants, including Romo, are stuck in Afghanistan until their cases move forward. The State Department has acknowledged that the SIV approval process is slow, but says applicants need to go through a thorough vetting process. My father and my brother, they both moved to Kabul. But it's hard for me to take one house for rent that costs too much. So we are here alone. Me, I like I'm gone. I'm <laughs> I don't like I don't have no more wishes, you know. Only wish that I have, I want to see my kids happy, that's all. Trying to do the best, but there is no nothing can I do now for them. Top U.S. military officials say after American troops leave, a complete Taliban takeover is possible.